I'm Emily, and my presentation is on body image issues in Latino literature. The two stories that I chose were Real Women Have Curves by Josefina Lopez and The Story of My Body by Judith Ortiz. Both female main characters suffer from body image issues, um, even though they're caused by different things. Um, Anna's is caused by her mother, and Judith is caused by society. I chose this topic because I thought that it's relatable no matter which gender you are and no matter what race you are, because nobody loves their body 100%. They would change something about it, I'm sure. And um, when everyone was Anna or Judith's age, as they were in the story, um, I think we can all say that we suffered from body image issues and bullying from others, so I felt like these were relatable. So both of the girls experienced racism and discrimination in um, the play and the story. Um, both are independent females and want to pursue higher education. Um, they're both put down because of the way they look, but in the end, they learn to overcome this and love their bodies. It was interesting to me that um, both girls had opposite um, issues when it came to relationships. Um, Anna had a sexual encounter with a classmate, and um, during this, uh, she actually told him to um, look at her because she was proud of the way that she looked. Judith had a date broken by a boy that she really liked um, because his father didn't want him dating a Spanish girl and I believe actually referred to um, her as a Puerto Rican rat. So I'm sure that uh, in this moment Judith was upset with society's perceptions of her but was also not happy with her appearance. Um, at the end of the story, um, both learn to love their bodies. Um, Anna was really after her mother constantly criticized her, and she didn't want to be like her mother. Um, and she also was um, taken care of, I um, guess, by some of the other women in the factory who um, did speak up for her and um, tell her that she should love her body as well. Judith um, realized she loved her body more um, when she found out that boys in her race preferred bodies that were different than hers. Um, so she decided at that time that intelligence was more important and she wanted to focus more on her attributes. In terms of education, um, Judith was supported by her parents um, when she wanted to pursue secondary education, um, but Anna's parents discouraged her. Judith attended school uh, in Puerto Rico, then in the U.S. She was known as the white girl in Puerto Rico because her race was um, different looking than the rest of her classmates, and then she was known as the brown girl in the U.S. because she was darker compared with her white classmates. Um, Anna attended a prestigious high school, and um, even though both had a desire to attend college, Anna faced financial barriers, but later in the play ended up um, being offered a scholarship. Um, I think that both of these uh, women went against the norms of their society. Um, Latino women are taught that appearance is important, and both girls decided that there was more to um, life than just focusing on appearance and um, there were more important attributes. Um, Latinos do not think that um, education for women is important, but both of these girls focused primarily on that as a goal. Um, Latino women often get low-paying jobs and the men are the head of the house. Um, we don't see this uh, as going against the norm too much in this story, um, but we see that um, the older generation 
definitely um, fulfills this. There's definitely inequality for women. Um, women are expected to obey the husband and their parents, which we see this um, uh, in the parents trying to get the girls to obey, but the girls kind of rebel. And um, the females are expected to raise a family. Um, the girls definitely had um, different priorities. Um, they really wanted to focus on their intellect and um, their talents. They wanted respect as individuals. And as I mentioned before, their studies and education was their primary goal. So the lessons that they learned through this um, uh, were through experiences with body issues. Uh, Anna decided she did not want to dumb herself down. She wanted to keep a strong will and accept that it's okay to not want to be a wife and mother and make her own decisions um, and gain independence from her mother and father. And Judith decided that she was going to be happy with herself no matter what others said, which was big for her because she spent most of her life being the outsider first as the white girl in Puerto Rico and then as the brown girl in the U.S. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.